In this video, I want to show you the steps how to set up signature in Zendesk. So as a support agent, from time to time, we reply to support tickets. And then oftentimes is that we need to uh, close the ticket by including our name. So in Zendesk, there's a feature that you can set up your own signature. So as an agent, click on user profile. And then over here, you'll be able to see uh, a field that say signature. So for example, um, I'm just going to say my name. So for example, a simple way, it decides to say best regards and include the name Salvatore. And then once this one is it's safe, and then when I reply it to a ticket, then the signature will be added automatically. So for example, I just type my response and then Zendesk will automatically add that signature. Now, in addition to just regular text, you can also include a hyperlink or image to the signature. So in order to do that, you need to use what Zendesk call as markdown formatting. So what you need to do is basically you, if it's inserting a link, you just need to follow this format so for example, if I want to include a link over here, uh, so I can see, I can say zendas.com as the signature, and then one of this one is safe. Then the next time um, I send a comment, then user will be able to see the zendas.com as signature, uh, as the hyperlink. Now, we can also add images to this by following this example. So basically, uh, you specify what's the text for the image and then the URL. And then also, if you want to make the image clickable, then you can also include this link. Now, what I can do is that for example, is if I go to an guide website and this one I'll copy the URL for the image so what I can do is that I can prepare the signature to say like this best regards and then it will say my name it will say my title uh, in this case I want to include my name as well and then the URL for the logo it's over here. And then in this case, I want to make the logo clickable and then it will open the website. So I can just copy this code over here and then go back to open my profile and then replace the signature with the code. Now, the next time I reply to a ticket, then it will display the signature and then my name, my title, phone number. Phone number is the list that I have on my profile over here. And also the logo and the logo is clickable. Thank you for watching.